My opponent kept aggressive catch glitching me and there was nothing I could have done about it. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Mutt gameplay. In this gameplay, we're going to be playing a money game versus AI Nash. I do have a part two to this video, but I'll talk about that at the end. If you guys have been enjoying the content as of late, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. And this, this gameplay, man, it was nothing like what Madden 23 plays like. Uh, it was over, I believe, like 90 points scored. Obviously, AI Nash is a really good offensive player. He made the Madden Bowl last year. So I decided, you know what, let me hit him up. And I found found out that he is one of the best players on this game he knows a thing or two you guys may not know so if you guys like high scoring gameplays watch this and thug it out to the end see right here guys we're gonna be kicking the ball off to ai nash in the atlanta falcons jerseys uh like i said he made the madden bowl last year he had a really good year last year and he's honestly someone who's actually really good this year see right here he's taking the top off the defense early first play of the game i decided to start off this game in dollar pretty bad user right there at camp chancer at the user i'm just so scared of those corner routes out of tight that you know i just ran to the corner route when in reality it was a post route and right here he's gonna hit us with outside of open play i'm not gonna call that an ag we're gonna call that just a high ball open play and he's gonna go up seven real quick in this gameplay like i said this was a money game i feel like that's where you could get your best reps and values at um as you know you'll see in this gameplay ai nash is uh, he's not the best on defense and he could tell you that he's a little sus on defense but man is this dude insane on offense um, and you know there are some questionable reads he makes but man it's calculated it's, it's part of the game and he kind of knows how this game plays as that should have been a touchdown I try to get that rack animation it's just been weird my controller has been bugging out or I don't know what it is I sometimes just don't get that rack animation where I could hold square or hold a uh, x but it doesn't matter we end up scoring regardless right here uh he's like i said he's in this gun tight which in my opinion is probably the best formation in this madden uh the routes are just so clean there's corner out left corner out right uh, you could get some good routes out there see right here he's going up top early and he gets an overthrow on fourth and ten we definitely need that so crucial turnover on downs right there see we're gonna hit y trail trying to make something happen but we have you know he just sends three there's just no one coming in free no one coming in free he sends three with two contains and we actually end up end up hitting caster on the route bounce late but like i was saying tide is so effective in this game see right here i'm gonna run it a little bit myself i'm in the washington commander's playbook uh it's very meta right now and we end up scoring with beast mode to the left sideline 91 speed on that 40 legends theme team i love bunch and i think bunch is really good there's so many things you could do out of bunch but ty i feel like it's just uh, it's just glitchy man you have great protection see right here speaking of protection he motion blocks his receiver and blocks him that's something you really can't do in bunch you can motion block snap but even with that it's not consistent at all when you have someone on the line you see right here he gets clean protection he hits us with a ag so i told you man the ags are kind of you know he he knows how to ag he knows how to ag uh, so if you've been, you know, paying attention to Madden 23 meta, the ad catches, aggressive catches have been kind of insane in this game. And that's kind of just, you know, AI Nash is really good at doing that. So, uh, you know, it's all good. It's 14-14. Um, I, this is like my first time playing, like, I guess a, a, a really good ad catcher. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I'll just continue saying that to the end of the video because you'll see he goes crazy. But like I said, he knows how to throw dots too. There's a few players I just played that just throw ag after ag after ag. He knows how to throw dots. I see right here, he throws a dot, he gets an overthrow. So uh, he knows how to cook up route combos. Trust me, I, he's an offensive player. I can't stress that enough. I see right here, he takes the top off the defense. Herman Moore, deep out elite, one AP, and that's wide open. There's no ag on that catch. Uh, right here, he's gonna try to hit us over the top my user was there but he was probably going to catch it and we actually end up holding him to three as well so uh this game is very even right now man it's very even right here we hit this free form corner route to the left sideline it didn't say free form completion banner but trust me there's no way you could throw that without a free form right here we just hit a quick flat route and um like i said man we were just scoring at will against each other moving at will we got larry fitz over the top of the defense and we get that hands over the head catch animation that's so beautiful that was in madden 17 right here we hit keith jackson with the high ball i'm not gonna lie washington playbook is super cracked out they got jumbo they got just so many formations it's right here we double team the ag and it actually pays off so that might be some ag defense i'm not too sure definitely gonna take a look at that but you know what we do after that is 
so important so crucial is you know i'm thinking to myself my opponent's throwing some ags versus me i want to learn and master how to throw an ag as well so you know let me take this time i have the lead i'm in a comfortable position let me try to chuck one thing up and yeah word of the wise don't ag a agger because bro he, he just he knew how to pick it off uh, immediately my first aggressive catch i went for and he immediately picked it off right here another one that one was kind of open he kind of just undercut it he goes in no huddle and look at what he does he goes in no huddle and look at just just check out dave casper uh he's setting up his play mike vick putting the hot routes out and it wasn't even dave casper my fault guys it was herman moore on the left side so I just couldn't really stop these one-on-one -on -one aggressive catches. Right here, we're gonna try to get three before half, and I'm not gonna lie, he has Gilmore on the field still. Uh, if he had anyone else, I probably wouldn't have thrown that, because Gilmore, what is he, like 88 speed, 87 speed? I don't know why he's on his team at this point. Um, we did not get in field goal range, and he decides to end the send the blitz, and we end up getting no points out of half. It's all good, because we do get the ball out of half, so uh, we're still in a comfortable spot. Like I said, though, I feel like this game was cooked if I didn't go for that just dumb aggressive catch that's that's me that's me trying to learn the game that's me trying to you know master the game and see what i can and can't throw and trust me i really won't be throwing that in the future especially with a lead right here we're cooking them up man and like i said we couldn't stop each other uh i hit him with that clear out out of washington playbook and right here we're gonna hit him with the wide trail one of my favorite plays and look at that corner route just cook Dave Castro absolutely routing Rod Woodson. You know, that wasn't like Paula Malu. That wasn't like, you know, uh, Legereus Sneed or Stefan Gilmore. That was Rod Woodson, who I believe had like that deep route KO on him. But it didn't really matter, man. That corner route just gets completely wide open. And there is another aggressive catch. Just keep the counter, man. Like we're DJ Khaled. Another one, another one, another one. Right here, we double teamed the uh, double me on the left side. But guess what? That leaves the right side wide open. So like I said, you know, he, like I said, he does not only just chuck one-on-ones, he knows how to throw dots. Like he's throwing dots, which makes it pretty tough. Like, uh, you know, you gotta defend one thing and then he hits you with another thing. It's right here, we went from bunch to gun tight. It was an audible and that audible is super annoying to defend. Trust me, I play a lot of people running this commander's tour, I guess you could say. And when they audible, audible from bunch to tight, it's the hardest thing in the world to stop. It's very similar to last year when people ran a bunch offset and audible the tight slots out of what what it was the Colts playbook, Panthers playbook, and Bengals playbook. It's very similar to that. Um, when someone does that, like I obviously did right there, it's just hard to defend. Right here, wide open player, terrible coverage. I mean, my coverage was just in shambles. And I usually play good tight defense, but when someone's incorporating the one-on-one -on -one mix up, that's when things could get a little scary. Um, right there, just a terrible route combo and bad pocket. I should have just thrown the ball away when I had the chance to. Instead, you know, that D-line pick, it is a little unlucky, but the thing was, it's my fault because I took so long to throw the ball away uh, or even just throw the ball to someone. So because of that, you know, I, I feel like it's fine. You know, I, I'm not too mad about that. Those D-line picks usually don't happen if you get the ball out and throw it away early or whatever it may be. Uh, but, you know, I waited a little too long and I ended up throwing a pick on it, a pick six with that. So, you know, that was really the first stop of the game. You know, our only two stops that I had got was like a couple of overthrows. His stop was me just chucking up an ag and then also, you know, getting that throw uh, at a sack pick. But right here, fourth and 10, we could get a stop. Rod Woodson, what are you doing? That's a slant. That was amazing coverage. It was amazing coverage, but the thing was he could have agged me still. And see right here, boom, another ag. Someone may be commenting in the comment section, oh, just use deep route KO or medium route KO. It'll stop the ags. No, it does not. Right here, Troy Palomalu almost goes crazy for us at the user. Thankfully, we hold him to three. Um, but the thing is, man, we got one timeout, and I'm not that comfortable on offense right now. We go to a play I shouldn't probably have ran. I tried to probably ran tight right here or bunch. This flood play, it's really good, man. The thing is, it takes too long, and I have very bad pocket. I'm not gonna lie, there's nothing open, and if I would have thrown the ball away, it would have been intentional grounding, but I still gotta live for another down. That's gonna end this game, man, and look at that. We both had a combined, like, 450 plus passing yards. None of us could stop each other. If you did enjoy that gameplay, I do have a part two versus AI Nash, another money game, and this game was even crazier than the first game. It goes to overtime. Um, and he has even more crazy ags than he had in that first gameplay. So if you want to see that, hit that like button. I'm asking for like 100 to 125 likes. It's nothing crazy. And you guys could see one of the best aggressive catchers in Madden 23 right now. 
in another game. So if you want that value, you want that high entertainment, you want the analysis and the breakdown, hit that like button and I will deliver another post Converse AI Nash coming up very soon. Till next time guys, appreciate you guys thugging it out to the end of the video. I'm gonna sign out for now and I'll hit you guys up very soon. Stay easy guys and I'll catch you soon.